Across the United States, a quiet revolution is happening, one that automakers never saw coming. A growing number of car owners have discovered a secret conversion method that turns any electric car into a self-powered machine. No charging, no gas, no limits. The method? It's been hidden until now. The Whispered Revolution. The story begins in small-town Arizona, where a mechanic named Tom Harris posted a cryptic video on an underground energy forum. He claimed he had modified his old Tesla Model 3 using a system he called the Maxwell Loop. The footage, though grainy, showed his car driving continuously for hours. No plug, no battery swap. At first, everyone dismissed it as fake. But within weeks, others tried replicating it. And the results were shocking. Dozens of American car owners began reporting the same phenomenon. Their cars, once limited by battery range, were now driving for days without a single charge. And the strangest part? Each of them credited the same mysterious source, a leaked set of blueprints originating from Africa. The blueprint leak. In early February, encrypted documents surfaced on several dark web forums titled MG Self-Powered Energy Conversion Module Version 3.1. Tech enthusiasts quickly connected the initials MG to Maxwell Chikambutso, the Zimbabwean inventor long rumored to have developed self-sustaining generators and vehicles. Inside those files were highly technical diagrams, strange coil patterns, magnetic rings, and an unfamiliar configuration of resonance converters. Experts initially called it pseudoscience, until an engineer from Detroit, Laura Briggs, decided to replicate it. In a confidential interview, she explained, I didn't believe it would work, but when we assembled the module, something happened. The system began drawing current from what we can only describe as ambient electromagnetic fields. The car's battery stopped draining entirely. She recorded it, documented it, and soon, whispers turned into an underground movement, the Conversion Network. By late summer, small workshops began popping up across Texas, Nevada, and Florida, operating quietly under different names. Electrorev, Zero Grid Labs, Max Charge Works. But their true purpose was the same, to convert regular EVs into self-powered vehicles using the Maxwell Blueprint method. A journalist went undercover to one of these workshops in San Diego. Hidden behind an auto repair shop, engineers were installing compact energy modules under the rear trunk compartment of a lucid air. When powered on, the system emitted a soft blue glow, pulsing rhythmically, almost alive. The test drive that followed left the entire crew stunned. The car maintained a steady 100 miles per hour for 12 hours straight, with zero battery drop. It was undeniable. The self-power conversion was real and spreading fast. The government noticed. Soon, the U.S. Department of Energy began taking notice. Report emerged of plainclothed agents visiting workshops, confiscating prototype modules, and warning inventors to cease experimentation due to safety concerns. But leaked internal memos told another story. In one, a government researcher wrote, If verified, this tech could dismantle the global energy industry in under a decade. At the same time, major automakers quietly began testing alternative energy capture systems. And Tesla? Their engineers were seen attending private energy conferences, where the name Maxwell appeared again and again. The Maxwell Connection. Then came a twist no one expected. In a podcast interview, an anonymous former Tesla engineer hinted that the conversion system matched early internal experiments inspired by Maxwell's electromagnetic resonance engine. He continued, Tesla wanted it years ago, but regulatory approval was impossible. So the idea was buried until someone found a way to bring it back through back doors and blueprints. It was now clear this wasn't a random DIY trend. This was the resurrection of an invention the world wasn't ready for. Montage. EVs cruising silently through American highways. People installing modules in garages. Headlines reading infinite drive tech. Elon responds to self-power claims. The test that changed everything. One final piece of footage leaked online. Filmed in Colorado. Showing a modified Ford F-150 Lightning driving through the mountains for 72 hours nonstop. No cables, no fuel, just continuous motion. Engineers were baffled. 
Physicists called it impossible, but the data logs show consistent voltage regeneration at all times. The system was creating more power than it used. It was a moment the movement could no longer be contained. The Elon response. Mr. Musk, are you aware the reports that American car owners are using a self-powering system, one allegedly based on African inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso's designs? Elon smirks slightly, adjusts his collar, and responds. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Physics doesn't take shortcuts. If someone claims they've achieved perpetual motion, they're either mistaken, or they've discovered something far bigger than anyone realizes. The crowd erupts in chatter. Some interpret his tone as disbelief, others as cautious acknowledgement. Later that night, in a private interview leaked online, Elon's words were more cryptic. We've seen similar energy behaviors in experimental systems. But if someone actually managed to stabilize it, then they've beaten every energy model the world depends on. The internet explodes. Hashtag Maxwell Tesla Link trends worldwide. The underground test facility. Meanwhile, in a hidden warehouse outside Houston, Texas, a group of engineers and scientists gathers around a matte black converted Tesla Model S. The car hums quietly, its consoles showing 100% charge, and it hasn't been plugged in for months. Dr. Ramirez, a materials physicist formerly with NASA, stares at the readings. It's tapping into something beyond stored energy. This isn't solar, magnetic, or kinetic. It's self-referencing power flow. The system completes itself. A younger engineer nods. It's like Maxwell's equations came to life. The group looks uneasy. They know what this means. An infinite energy loop, stable and controllable. Something that could shatter the trillion-dollar energy market. Suddenly, one of the engineers rushes in with a tablet. You're not going to believe this. Someone's been monitoring our test logs remotely. The IP traces back to Palo Alto to Tesla headquarters. The room falls silent. Tesla's internal meeting, the decision, inside Tesla's secure boardroom. Elon stands before a digital map showing hundreds of dots across America. Each dot represents a vehicle reported to be using the Maxwell conversion module. He turns to his executive team. We can't ignore it anymore. These aren't isolated experiments. They're organized. Someone's replicating the original Maxwell resonance engine, and they're scaling it. An executive responds nervously. If they release open source plans, the EV industry collapses overnight. Charging networks, battery leasing, energy credits. Gone. Elon's eyes narrow. Then we need to get ahead of it. Quietly. He gestures to the screen, revealing a classified file labeled Project R0. Maxwell resurfaces. Thousands of miles away, deep in the outskirts of Harare, Zimbabwe, a camera turns on. Maxwell Chikambutso, older, calm, and deliberate, appears on screen for the first time in years. His message is short but powerful. When I first built this system, I wasn't trying to compete. I was trying to free energy from control. Now, others have taken it further, and that's how it should be. Energy belongs to everyone. The video goes viral within hours, hitting over 50 million views. Maxwell's face floods social media, news outlets, and forums. Hashtags like hashtag free energy and hashtag Maxwell movement dominate global discussions. Governments start responding, some with admiration, others with panic. The blackout event. Just as the world starts to rally behind the idea of self-powered vehicles, a sudden power grid blackout sweeps across major U.S. cities. New York, Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles. News anchors scramble for explanations. A rumor begins to spread online. The blackout was an accident. It was a test, a warning, to show what happens when centralized systems lose control. And then, a shocking discovery. During the blackout, self-powered vehicles continued to operate normally. They became the only moving lights in a darkened world. Footage circulates of glowing EVs driving through pitch-black streets, while city grids remain dead silent. Global reaction. Governments launch emergency meetings. Energy corporations start stockpiling resources. The International Energy Council declares an innovation containment review, urging nations to restrict unauthorized conversion technologies. But it's too late. The designs are already decentralized, mirrored on servers across continents. 
Anyone with the right tools can now build a self-powered system in their garage. Tech communities from Kenya to California begin live streaming conversions, each one showing the same impossible results. Limitless motion, zero recharge. Project R0, the silent counter move. Inside the pod is a cube-shaped device, eerily similar to Maxwell's generator. It emits a low, vibrating hum. The air itself seems to pulse with energy. Dr. Lin, Tesla's lead quantum systems engineer, speaks carefully. We stabilized it for 43 minutes before the containment field collapsed. The readings were off the charts. It's producing more energy than it draws. Elon's jaw tightens. So it's real. Lin nods. It's real but uncontrollable. It behaves like it's alive. Elon's eyes fix on the cube. Then we control the world before it controls us. Project R0 collapses. At Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory, alarms blare. Engineers rush across catwalks as Project R0's cube surges beyond capacity. The lights flicker, bending reality around containment pod. Dr. Lin. Sir, it's absorbing every electromagnetic frequency. We can't shut it down. Elon Musk slams his fist on the emergency panel. Sparks fly. Reverse the polarity. Now! But the cube's hum deepens into a resonance that seems to shake the entire building. A blinding blue wave explodes outward, and suddenly, the world goes silent. The world stops. Across the planet, cars, power grids, satellites, all energy sources shut down simultaneously. The Earth enters a global blackout. But then, slowly, a new light appears. Maxwell's open-source generators, installed in hidden labs, homes, and communities, begin reactivating. One by one, they restart hospitals, villages, and cities. Africa glows first, then Asia, then the rest of the world. Maxwell watches from his remote facility as data feeds flood his screens. It's working. The resonance is balancing itself. The call reversed. Elon wakes in the dark ruins of the Tesla control center. His calm device flickers to life. It's Maxwell again. Told you it wasn't about who wins. Maxwell says quietly, it's about what we do with what we've built. Elon looks outside. The sky is lit by natural auroras powered by the resonance network. For the first time, he smiles. Let's finish it together. The day the world lit itself. News headlines flood the globe. The end of oil global markets transition overnight. Tesla and Maxwell announce Open Energy Initiative. Humanity finally breaks the chain of dependency. Maxwell stand before a group of students, smiling as they build miniature resonance engines in their classroom. Remember, he says, the future doesn't belong to the powerful. It belongs to those who dare to imagine differently. He glances at a holographic message from Elon Musk. The impossible is now inevitable. E. M. In the end, the greatest discovery wasn't infinite energy. It was unity.